Only on five tonight, an accused Bible beater, a woman accused of using God's word as a weapon against her pastor in their Mid-South church. Action News 5's Janice Broach just returned from Selmer with this outrageous story tonight, Janice. Well, a 63-year-old church member used that Bible to hit the pastor in the head after he told her and other members to leave or he would call the sheriff. It's a church rift that turned violent. He's got the demon in him. Ina Garrett, a lifelong member of this Selmer church, decided to knock that demon out of the pastor, Leon Taylor. One of the elder church members uh, came up and actually struck the pastor with a Bible. I hit him in the head. The sheriff arrested 63-year-old Ina Garrett and charged her with assault. The pastor of Mount Zion Baptist Church showed us a photo of welts on the side of his head. Evil is evil. You understand what I'm saying? And bullying is just bullying. And uh, that's what they have done. There is a rift among church members at Mount Zion. The members chose Pastor Taylor to lead the church a year ago. I'm the guy. I'm the guy. <laughs> I'm the guy that done, that done that. Deacon Robert Schubert, Ina Garrett, and other members say they decided they did not like Taylor and wanted him out of the 30 member church. The pastor says the church members who wanted him out were disruptive. The next Sunday, we went right back. The door was locked. Taylor showed us video of him telling the church he's tired of it as Ina Garrett yells from the church. Would you leave? Would you leave? Would you leave? Call the shave for me, please. Call the shave. You are out. What is it about out that you don't understand? Sheriff Buck showed up and tried to talk with the unhappy church members, and sometime after that, Buck says Ina Garrett hit the pastor with the Bible. The sheriff escorted the disruptive members out and arrested Garrett. Have you ever heard anything like that before? I never in my life. And the unhappy church members, some who have been members for 65 years, will likely have to take the pastor to court. He says he's not planning to leave. We'll keep you updated. Live in the studio, Janice Broach, Action News 5.